Defense attorneys are trying to keep a jury from hearing an accused cop killer's confession. A motion to suppress claims tomorrow McCloyd was intoxicated when police questioned her. McCloyd's facing numerous charges, including murder in the New Year's Eve shooting death of Officer Shane Bartek. News 5 investigator Tara Morgan explains how this could impact that case. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court of law. This motion to suppress filed in March claims Tamara McCloyd was under the influence of alcohol, cocaine, and marijuana when Cleveland homicide detectives interviewed her. McCloyd was arrested and charged in the New Year's Eve shooting death of Cleveland officer Shane Bartek. Court records filed by the prosecution show McCloyd mentioned she consumed Jack Daniels, then admitted to robbing and shooting Bartek. Case Western law instructor Michael Benza calls the move a standard motion for the defense in challenging the validity of an interrogation. In order to make a, a valid waiver, a defendant has to make a knowing, intelligent, and voluntary waiver. The prosecution countered, arguing in court records, McCloyd waived her Miranda rights and spoke with detectives fully and conscientiously. Twice during the interview, McCloyd says she's intoxicated, but the prosecution chalked it up to McCloyd attempting to avoid answering questions. The whole interview captured on body cam, which the prosecution says shows no visible signs of intoxication. Court records show the prosecution wants the interrogation video viewed in open court. Benza says that could be of value to both sides. Benza says it'll depend on what the video shows. He points to police dash cam of impaired drivers at sobriety checkpoints. He says is helpful to prosecutors in OVI cases. If that same type of video is available and for the defendant to show that, that would go a long way towards demonstrating both under the influence and to a certain degree the level of impairment. Benza says the defense will have to show proof she was impaired. It will really come down to her testimony about how much she had drunk and what its effect on her was. If you understand your rights, I suggest you use them. McCloyd's attorneys declined to comment. The prosecutor's office also not talking, saying the state's brief in opposition speaks for itself. A hearing is set for later this month. Should a judge grant the motion? The jury would never hear the contents of, of the interrogation. I'm News 5 investigator Tara Morgan. All right, thanks, Tara. And Officer Bartek will be one of the five Ohio officers who died last year to be honored at the 34th Ohio Peace Officers Memorial Ceremony this Thursday morning. Bartek's name will also be added to the Ohio Fallen Officers Memorial Wall.